All four variants of consent, as you know, they've been identified as well in the African region. And then the Delta variant, as you know, that it has been the latest variant of concern that has been showing quite a high transmissibility based on the scientific data due to the prolonged uh, situation of the very recent wave that we have come across. The Delta variant has been so dominating and as such, it has really caused quite a pressure in our health facilities. As you know, that most of the uh, hospital, they were really struggling to cope with the number of patients that were coming. So the genomic uh, surveillance is very important, especially in the healthcare settings. So merging the genomic data and, ep and epidemiological data to determine how the, variant, the virus or the variant is spreading is quite very important. And in addition to that also, to know that the variant that has been detected has not caused any impact uh, in the uh, current uh, diagnostic tools that are in use and also it has not caused any impact into the vaccine that has been developed to uh, try to control the spread of the disease itself. WHO has launched a center of excellence for genomic surveillance as well as the bioinformatics. This center is uh, initially going to support mostly of the southern countries, as you know, that's where the most of the pandemic is taking place. However, the aim of the WHO is to expand this support or the use, uh, use this center to support the entire continent in order for them to be able to scale up their sequencing activities and support uh, the control of the the outbreak that is taking place.